So this one says, an old bottle uh, was found in the laboratory. A handwritten label says that it is copper 2-sulfate pentahydrate. A 3.0000 gram sample of the bright blue substance is strongly heated until a constant weight is obtained. The pale gray-white residue is found to weigh 1.6762 grams. What is the actual formula of the copper 2 sulfate hydrate? Okay, so this is what is on the label, okay, but it's not actually this particle or this formula unit. Does everybody understand that? So in fact, what it's saying is that this number is probably not correct, okay, and it wants you to figure out what that number is. So in other words, something like that. Is everybody okay with it? So let's just write the chemical equation here. So this is the chemical equation that would occur, or the chemical um, reaction, if you will, that would occur, or phase change that would occur, um, if you heated this um, substance up. Right? So what we're really looking at for is the coefficient here, or the ratio of moles here to moles here. Is everybody okay with that idea? Okay, so anyways, in other words, it's telling us once we, the, this mass of this sample is this, actually, we can write CuSO4XH2O. Okay, that's the sample. The residue is actually CuSO4 itself. Okay? So the mass difference would be the mass of water, actually. Right? Why? Because of um, the law of conservation of mass, right? The same mass has to be on this side as has to be on this side. So if you have this starting out and this ending up, this is gone, right? So the mass of water, we can figure that out. It's going to be the, of course, the mass of the CuSO4, XH2O, minus the mass of the CuSO4.
mole to mole ratio that we have of this stuff. So, the ratio, molar ratio is going to be, well, we want the bigger one to be on top, okay, because we want these to be integers, of course. So, this is a, effectively calculating, the, just like calculating the empirical form. Okay. What's up? Um, whenever you do the ratio, does, how do you know which one goes on top? Like, well, like I was saying, if we put the other one on top, if we did it the other way, it would be a number less than one, right? And it doesn't make sense to put them. <coughs> as I choke, numbers less than one in the chemical equation. <coughs> Same thing with the empirical formula. It doesn't make sense to have numbers that are non-integers in um, the subscripts. So if you want to compare that to this. Any other questions with this one? Okay, you guys all know how to do this one. Okay, and you knew how to do it before, but you definitely know. 